I got asked for I got asked to go on as a bombshell in Love Island this year. So hang on a minute. Chris MD got asked to go on as a bombshell <laughs> in Love Island. Why yeah. did you turn it down? Because I can't imagine anything worse. Like really? as, as a single man going in there and seeing your your dating, you know, and, and seeing how I talk to women being in front of everyone <laughs> and you not able to be the person editing it is the worst. Like, because, you know, you've heard people go on Love Island. They've just been yeah. like, um, you know, I, I went on. I was a really nice guy. Did and they painted me out like this? Like, I was just yeah. terrified of that. I so, w w was that ever a consideration? You and your no, like, no. I thought, you, you uh, thought straight away because obviously it's. I, I know, give I know give you've me got another, a huge give me another year of being, but it's single. a massive pro. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Bit more desperation. Yeah, come back to me in a year, ITV. <laughs> you never know. Would you still be single in a year? <laughs> yeah, maybe actually. Yeah, who knows? Would you? Would you? Is there a chance love. Chris MD will be in Love Island one year? Realistically, there, I mean, there's a chance, but I'd, I'd wow. say it's it's pretty unlikely. Um. It Strictly is probably more likely. I'd say yeah. that. Yeah, I Have think. Your conversations um, about Strictly. Yeah. So yeah, they asked me. I think like three years ago, maybe. Um, it was actually I probably said no because I was uh, also the time you'd have to take out from doing YouTube and yeah. stuff. Um, but also because I think um, I had a conversation with my ex, and it was just right. after Joe Sark had gone in and found right. the love of his life in yes. Diane, and I think yes. we had a conversation. She was like. I'm, I don't think I'm going to be happy with you going right, in okay. and dancing. Circumstance, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, never know, never say how, never. How, yeah, but that's terrifying. You, you, right, you brought you know? up your love life a couple of times. Now, so how is your love yeah, life? God, I do that all the time. I mean, I, <laughs> God damn it, I try and keep it out of podcast. Um, no, I seem to love talking about it. Uh, no, I mean, yeah, I've, I've been single for a year and a half, and mm. um, yeah, I'm very much a hopeless romantic. So I enjoy oh, going on dates and yeah, yeah. enjoy meeting new people. And I think I'm in a, a period in my life where I've had a past relationship that was really mm. nice, and I've got a very high standard, which is lovely. Kind of, yeah, you know, yeah. not not that. Um, I I don't feel like I'm ever going to kind of sell for someone, which is really nice. Yeah, how, how tough is it on a serious note to have? Obviously, you're you're very high profile now. Yeah, I, I, I know you you won't admit <laughs> oh, so that. easy. <laughs> I, I know you know, but I know you won't admit that. But you are a huge YouTuber. Loads of people know who you are. Mm. You had quite a high profile breakup in that. You know, if you type your name on YouTube, a lot of yeah. the clips that come up are about the breakup. Yeah. I mean, is is that difficult? I mean, I, I think that it, people are always asking you questions about that. I know I'm doing it now, but no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> I think it would be if we'd ended on like bad. I think right. it totally depends on what your the end of the relationship is. And I think we're just very lucky in that we're both very not we're both lovely people. I think yeah. that's why you get in a relationship with someone. And you're for six still amicable with each other and all so, that. So yeah, yeah, and like you know, um, yeah, still meet up for coffees every now and then and stuff. And yeah. just you know, it, it was absolutely. Um, there was no animosity from either of us. So yeah. I, I think it's, it's you know, I don't think I would have a relationship pu as public as it was again. Right. But like, I certainly don't look back and I'm like, oh, I'm gutted that, you know, it went down like that yeah. or anything, which is which is nice. But um, yeah, like it, it definitely has its, it has its pros and cons yeah. being high profile in, in the I dating get, I world. I bet it's got its pros, yeah. It has its pros. <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, in, in the least big headed way possible, it's quite rare that I will go on a date with someone at a bar or something and someone doesn't come up at some point and say, uh, are you Chris, are you Chris MD? MD? Yeah. Can I get a photo? So during a during most dates you have with a girl, <laughs> so, this is, uh, you're yeah. not being big yeah, no, During most yeah, dates yeah. you have with a girl, yeah. someone else will come up and say, can I have a photo? Yeah, and I have to go, just pay them tenner. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> come up with some sort of clever line. <laughs> yeah. um, and generally, to be fair, generally, I think I'm very lucky in the people that watch my videos mm. are like, you know, the type of people that are really respectful yeah. and will come up and like, you know, wait for her to go to the loo or something yeah. and then come up and be like, didn't want to interrupt, but it's very chat. Yeah. I just want to say, love your videos, come kind of photo, everything, which is really lovely. But then I've also had people that have come up and like, um, you know, we've, we've, been at a bar or something they've come up and just like shook my shoulders and gone like wait chris md on a day well, on a day yeah yeah and wow. you're like what do you what do you want from this mate like i'm what not really sure what that? you want me to say to that so yeah and how does the date fun. react when someone does that to you yeah i mean they're always just like that was weird <laughs> wow and yeah. and most of the time the dates that you're on are people that don't know who you are right i'm guessing yeah I, i'm i mean it's it's maybe like it kind of depends. I think having such a guy audience yes, is quite funny okay. because the only way generally that they will know about me is, is again, that's a huge disadvantage. But you know, mm. if like they've got brothers or, you know, they're, um, they've said like, this is the guy I'm going on a date with. Yeah. And they're like, oh, my friends were like, oh, that's Chris MD. Yeah. Whatever. Do you know what's so. mad? I, my now wife, when I was on a date with her was when I was doing the Frankie Fry thing and I was in a bar with her. And again, she didn't know. 
any of my background. Someone shouted, oosh at me because it was the cat. No also, way. And he kept, was on the barge going, oosh. And I, I look <laughs> back on that now. I've never actually spoken to my wife about this, but like, she must yeah, have just seen someone she shaking their head, just shouting <laughs> oosh the That's whole time. Brilliant. And then obviously explained what I did. Luckily, he didn't come over and stuff. But he was like, wee, yeah. wee. And it was just like, oh God, you saw the ground swallow up at that point, didn't you? And then obviously I explained. But yeah. it was just at the time, I was like, what? She must be thinking, what is this guy? Is yeah. he right? Like, yeah, what, what yeah. is going on? How, how did you guys meet, by the way? We we met. Um, she used to work in. She works for the NHS now. But she used to work in a bar, oh. and Tubes was a massive part of us being together now. Yeah. So we, I was. We were having a few drinks, and I found out it was her last shift in the bar. And we used to go in after work. So yeah. a group of us that worked at Sky, and I found out it was her last shift. And I walked out, and, and she just used to serve us lots. We just used to get chatting, but didn't really know each other. Well, I can't believe I'm divulging this on this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, anyway, you, you're clever. This. I love it around. around. Yeah, it around. Cool. And um, as we were leaving the bar, I said, "Oh, she, she said it's my last shift." Well, oh, thanks. For Thanks for, you know, serving and being great and stuff. She's just re re she's a really nice, genuine person. And as yeah. we left, Tubes was like, you know, she has been looking at you. I was like, no, no, she's, it's her last shift. I'm not going to see her again anyway. He, he stood in front of me and went, if you don't go and ask her out, I will ask her out for you. I don't know if he meant <laughs> I'll ask her out for, for him. Me. Or for, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I'm not doing that. And, uh, yeah. and he went, on a, and he prevented me from walking. So I, so I was like, he's not letting me go. I was like, go and ask her out. Went and asked her out on a date, and obviously. Wait, wait, sorry, is that Tubes? Did you Tubes, say? yeah. He stopped me and said, "Go and ask her out." Wow. I'm telling you, she wants to go on a date with you, and she's not going to ask you, so you've got to yeah. ask her. So, I had a, honestly about two minute conversations. We're not going to do that. It's, the bar's full. <laughs> it was a last shift. True story. Walked into the bar, asked her for a date. Ten years later, we're married with a kid. That's so it's crazy. Sweet. Isn't it? And on my wedding day, I, I mentioned that story, <laughs> yeah. um, and, and, she, and, and she said no at the time, <laughs> and then you yeah. just kept going. She didn't in think again. about it. Yeah, actually, to be fair. <laughs> but that was the story. Aww. But it's a lovely story, actually. But it cleverly, how you manipulated that back on me, <laughs> maybe blokes. Because I was going to say, like these days, obviously with dating apps, it's I do yeah, feel like that's a good statistically, point. you're you're it's it's a lot easier to kind of actually find someone that you have like similar interests with and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's a good point. But, that, but like, I mean, I. I've never in, thought in, of that. Yeah, really in, the, in the last like year and a half, I've kind of gone a bit um, in and out of being like, I'll meet people in real life mm -hmm. and then I'll meet people through dating apps type thing. And like it, it in, in real life, you, you just have the opportunity of kind of going up to people and ha it's way more romantic like that yeah. for sure. Yeah. But then you also don't know if someone's single. It's yeah. difficult going up That's to them. That's true that. Um, so like, yeah, it, it's definitely something you... I mean, I'm, uh, it sounds like you probably weren't the type of person who went up and said hello to lots of people in bars. No, no, that's the first time I've ever <laughs> asked. Yeah, yeah. So, so, and, and, oh, really? It, it, Only time. Who worked at a bar, yeah. Yeah, obviously. yeah, yeah. And like, I'm the same in that you, you just don't want to come across as a creepy guy yeah, at all. Yeah, I do know what you so mean. So it's like finding the right <laughs> situation. Um, like I went up to I went up to a girl in a bar the other day and I was like, like, just wanted to say you're out of my league, but I'd kick myself if I didn't ask if I could buy you a drink. And um, at the time, she was like, she was like, no, I really appreciate like the thank you. That's very sweet, but no rose at all. But and you're then, right. You're right. I'm out of your league. <laughs> she, was, she was like, I am. And so, yeah, walked off. And then 20 minutes later, her friend came over and she was like, I like, she really liked the way that you like just accepted that you were rejected. Would you come over and speak to her again? And she'll say, yes. And I was wow. like, oh, that's actually really sweet. She definitely just looked up my followers and then been like going to But then did you go for a drink with her? I did. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. So that's so, quite sweet. And then yeah. what happened after that? Um, it didn't work. But it didn't yeah. work. Okay, yeah, that's interesting sure. though. So yeah. on a serious note, how hard is it for Chris MD to find love if you're... <laughs> there's your title. Yeah, there's the title. No, but, but because you've alluded to the fact that people come up on dates with you, shake you and say it's Chris MD, people Google who you are. Yeah. You know, so if, if you're genuinely trying helps. to find the one um, yeah. and you said to yourself there's pros and cons, I'm sure there's yeah. great pros to it, but is that also quite difficult? Yeah, for sure, because I think you definitely have to have your guard up a little mm. bit. Um but at the same time, I, I do feel like I'm quite lucky in that I've got decent social skills. I'm relatively good at reading mm. people. And I kind of, um, yeah, like I, 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 like I said, I've got very high standards. So yeah. I think the, I would only ever get into something serious with someone after, you know, 15, 20 dates or something. You would know? you? So, well, no, nice. When I say serious, you know, as in like, you know, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend type thing or as an exclusive. Yeah. But yeah, like uh, I, I think... Um, it's definitely the way to be instead of just throwing yourself into things. Yeah, yeah for sure. But um, yeah, I can't remember what you asked me there. Just about how difficult it might be to find love and stuff. Because you obviously, yeah, with, with um, those, so I didn't realize those experiences were, were so. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it, it just it helps that I am absolutely fine with going on a date with someone, mm. 
you know, having a, a drink or a coffee with someone for an hour and a half and then being like, you know what, this, this is really lovely yeah, to meet enough. you. Um, yeah. See you around type yeah, thing. And I think you have to have that mindset going into dating because otherwise you just go in with expectations or yeah. whatever and it doesn't really work. Are they some of the weirdest experiences you've had with fans on dates? Have you had, what, what are some of the most bizarre experiences you've had or, or similarly where you've been recognised? Tell us sort of how... I'm trying to think if I've got any particular... Not to say how famous ones. is Chris MD, but how, <laughs> how like some experiences you've had. Because um, the dating ones seem... Dating ones Awkward. would be funny. Yeah, they, oh, there's got to be some good ones. Um, da, da, I, I had, there, there was um, there was quite a funny. Actually, the, there was a girl that I saw for a few months um, it, over the last year and a half. And um, my first interaction with her <laughs> was we, we were skiing and I walked into a like a uh, apres skiing bar. She just looked at me and went, the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> Is that what she said? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I was like, great line. What? I was like, what are you doing here? <laughs> like, obviously didn't know her and then walked off. Um, and then like, you know, 20 minutes later, saw her talking to one of my friends and I was like, she's very attractive. I'm going to go talk to her again. Um, and uh, it and it turned out that with her ex, her ex had shown her some of my videos. Oh, wow. And they used to watch them together. And then you... And and then, yeah, I'm, wow. uh, he's he's unintentionally wingman to me there. Wow, which is quite a funny that, one. That's bizarre. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, wow, that's what I mean. You know, there's definite pros to so it. Pros and cons. Um, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> I like that. apparently, um, yeah, he'd showed her my cat video, the viral cat video, yeah. and then, um, yeah, she enjoyed some of the like videos of Stephen tries and stuff. And I was like, right, are you trying to get to me or Stephen? Yeah, because yeah, <laughs> I'll give his number. Yeah, yeah. He's really like, funny. Stephen's taken. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I know he's funnier, but let's bring the bring the expectations you, down. You, with your profile now, you must be mates with a lot of. Uh, footballers, particularly in high-profile people, I mean.